Hey there, it's Mr. Leatherwood. And Miss Mitchell. We hope you're having a good day. We do. We do. <laughs> Today we're going to learn how to add fraction using models. And the cool thing this year is that the denominators, the bottom numbers, are always going to be the same. Love that. Love that. So let's pick a couple to give us some examples. Um, Three-eighths. Three-eighths. Three-eighths it is. And we're going to add that to... Two-eighths. Two-eighths. I can do that. So we're using models. So rectangles okay for you, Miss Mitchell? Yeah. Rectangles it is. So I'm going to make a rectangle or an array, I guess we could call it, right? What do I need to cut my rectangles into? Well, <laughs> the denominator tells me the total parts, so eight. Eight total parts. I can do that. You can cut it into fourths, and then you can cut your fours in half. I can do that, too. Ta-da! Excellent. I have eight. Now what? Well, if we're going to represent three eighths, then three out of eight need to be shaded. I like the sound effects. Mm -hmm. Three eighths. And how about the other one? So two out of eight need to be shaded. If I wanted to and go crazy, could I do this one over here? Well, it's kind of bothers me because yeah. not nice and pretty, okay. but yes, it still represents two eights. All right, well, here, I'll make it nice and pretty just for you. Doo -doo -doo. You feel better about that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now we have three eights and we have two eights. Now what do we do? We add them. We add them. So I'm going to make my third model over here for my, what's that called? The sum, right? Sum, yes. S-U-M. Right? S-U-M. Okay. So three and two. So I'm going to go and color them in. So I have three eights. Plus two eights. Equals? Equals five eights. One, two, three, four, five out of eight. Woohoo! Yay. Yay. Makes sense? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do. <laughs> that was Miss Mitchell's tummy, by the way. <laughs> Let's do, um, how about six this time? Okay. Want to do six this mm -hmm. time? So let's do three six plus one six. Make it a tough one. Okay. okay. So I'm going to cut it rectangle okay, or you want to do circles? I prefer rectangle. Me too. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan of the arrays. <clears throat> I'm going to cut these into thirds. Then I'm going to cut that in half. Does that work? That does work. Did a good job representing pieces of the same size. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So the first one I'm going to color in three oh, out no. of my six. Dos. Trace. Very good job. And then I'm going to color in one out of my six. Uno. Just do no. And then we need to figure out our sum, right? Mm-hmm. So it has to be six equal parts, just like my other models. And I'm going to show you a little different this way. So this time I'm going to do three. And just so y'all can really see what we're doing, I'm going to add my one-sixth. So all together, what do I have? One, two, three, four. Very good. Out of... Out of six. Six. Cool beans, huh? Yeah. What do you see? Something's bothering you, I can tell. <laughs> well, I see that it's four six, but I know that four six are both even numbers. It's very true. So, like on homework, what if the answer choice four six wasn't there? What could I do? Well, since they're both even numbers, I think I can divide them by two, right? Yeah. That'd be okay? Mm-hmm. So we're going to divide the top, that's a great division sum, divide the top and the bottom by 2, and then what do we get? 2, because 4 divided by 2 is 2, uh -huh. and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Yeah. So our simplified sum would be 2 thirds, right? But mm -hmm. 4 6 would also work. 
Yes, yeah. both. Okay. Those are equivalent. They are equivalent. All right, now one for you to complete. And here's the tricky part. This is new. Bring to class when this video is due. Okay, so this needs to be brought on Monday. All right, let's make it super tricky. Not really. Okay. What should we do? Um, Pick about... a good color, purple. Twelves, maybe? Okay. We'll do twelves? Yeah. So how about five twelves plus six twelves? No? Mm, sure. Okay. Three twelves? <laughs> Three twelves. Three twelves. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't look like she liked that one. You knew what I wanted. Yeah. Five twelfths plus three twelfths. So I want you to come to class with the sum and I want to see models. Because we are talking about models. Should what? Should they simplify the answer if it's possible? I think that would be wonderful. Oh, okay. That's a good, so good practice. So check for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck. Good luck.